Hi everybody, uh, I got a request to do a video on the uh, Lunar Solo 6 Moons Design Tent. So I wanted to start with some specs and compare it to the Lunar Solo LE, and I'm on their website. So you can see it's $180, but it weighs 30 ounces. And uh, here's some specs. Pack size is 15 by 4.5 inches. The floor is sturdier. It's a 70 denier polyester. Now I think that's where the extra weight comes in on this tent. It's a single wall. The peak is 48 inches. The floor space is 26 square foot. It has a vest one vestibule which is 8.5 square foot. And it's a gray instead of the green. Okay, now I'm going to go back and This is the one I've got. Okay, so the price on this is a little more. It's 215. It's 24 ounces instead of 30. The floor is um, a little lighter. It's a 40 denier silicone nylon. I use a Tyvek ground sheet with it. Pack size is 15 inches by 4.5 inches. Weight is 24 ounce. 26 square foot of sleeping space, which is the same. One vestibule, 8.5 square foot, which is the same as the LE. I think the only thing different is the flooring material. Because the peak on this is 48 inches too, which I, I hike it up a little more to get the bathtub situated a little better. And it's it's a green colored tent. So I'm going to pause this and set up the tent and show you a little bit of it set up. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, hopefully you can hear me over the air conditioned unit. But here's the tent set up. I'll take a walk around. I have these stakes set a little high. Sometimes I'll I'll do that. Sometimes I'll put them closer to the ground. And my trekking pole, I'm not sure what height it is, but when I see the bathtub raise up a little, that's that's where I pitch it at. And actually, this is uh, probably the best pitch I've got. I got the tie outs on the ends. Okay. So you're supposed to supposed to uh, put in your two front post taunt and then come back about 10 inches and then the rear um, tie out you connect that and then you put in your trekking pole and then stake out the, the back two corners so go in and show you the space here So you have a lot of room where your trekking pole is. That's a, the highest point, your peak here. It has a little sleeve that your the tip of your trekking pole goes in. And then at the bottom, there is a grommet that, uh, that you can put a stake in. But I usually just put the handle on my trekking pole there and there's a, a little elastic here I put around the handle. Right here. 
and that usually holds that in place so I don't have to carry another another peg okay alright so laying down I have a lot of headroom I'm 5'6 okay and then you can see I have plenty of room you know I'm touching bottom but you see where my head was you know I All right, the, the problem, well, I guess it really isn't a problem, is this back wall is on such a slant. If it's raining and it starts to sag, you have to take into account that your sleeping pad may be three inches thick, and then your sleeping bag raises you up a little. So if you're... here like right here my head's touching in the back kind of you know you have to be you'd have to be really close to this this peak now I'm a bigger person too so that's why I was thinking about getting something that was a little more roomy but you know I could I could deal with this and I think I'm going to after thinking about it I vested so invested so much money you know, I gotta quit somewhere <laughs> and just save up for covering bills and stuff for this trek. But this is a six moons design lunar solo. This is a lighter version. The floor is lighter. I think that's uh, the only difference in the two. I thought the LE was for taller people, but it didn't say anything on the website about that. So I just think it has a sturdier floor, something like if you wanted to take on the PCT maybe that would be a little more durable or if you're a little harder on gear but like right here if I had to hang out I'd probably sit with my back to the door and I would be fine you know because I have all the best real space it only has one door it'd be nice if uh, it had two doors that you can open up this whole mesh area you know if you could have all that open and just sit under the vestibule that would probably be that would be nice but you have one big door so I'm um, I hope that's helpful with the specs and seeing how it's set up let me get right here up here you can zip the door. Door comes up around here for the screen. It has somewhere to uh, hang a light or something. Let's see. I think it does have a pocket. Maybe not. Oh, just a little. It has just a little mesh pocket here. Probably big enough to hold a phone. can't pull that down without all right I wanted to shut that the vestibule but it is good space you can fit your pack and your boots and everything under there you could cook under there so, so yeah let me crawl out of here and the steaks that I'm using they're kind of like the groundhog steaks but I got them at Walmart and this ground right here is very very hard and I actually bent one of these here but what I did for easy setup is these strings and the ribbons I put little S beaners on and these stakes have holes in so I keep the S beaners on the ribbons and the strings and all I gotta do is hook them to the stakes and stick them in the ground on the two tie outs 
I just have two sturdy, cheap shepherd hook type stakes for that. So let me step back. Hopefully the sun isn't too bright. <laughs> I'll give you one last look at the outside. And it does have these loops that you can roll this up. And it has this here. It goes through the ribbon to tie back your your vestibule. And that is a Six Moons Design Lunar Solo. Not the LV. But, like I said, the difference is the material in the floor. And that adds a little more weight. So that's why I went with this model. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And we'll see you later.